Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Samantha, and I'm part of the team ministry. Today's devotional is entitled, Thank and Praise God. Hey guys, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. God is working in each of our lives daily, like every day. Even though you don't think he's working in our lives, he's working in our lives. Okay, so today's scripture is in Psalms. 108 verse 3 so if you guys have your bible turn with me to psalms 108 verse 3 we're gonna read it together as a team because god loves when we read to him he just loves everything we do for him okay so let's just read it i will praise thee O lord among the people and i will sing praises unto thee among the nations god loves when we pray to him he loves us reading his bible his scriptures he loves us when we go to church he loves everything we do just for him. And you guys, we have to understand that because God loves us so much. And we need to show the same respect, the same love towards him back. Okay, so now it's time to read the Thought to Glow. Okay, so now we're going to read the Thought to Glow. The Thought to Glow says, Worship praises God for his work among the nations. Let me read it one more time just in case you guys didn't hear me clearly. Worship praises God for his work among the nations. We got to worship him. We got to show other people how we worship him. There's a lot of people among the world that doesn't know who God is or never heard of him. So we just got to keep spreading the Bible, keep spreading the gospel to other people just so God can be happy and for other people to get saved. You do not want other people to get saved. I know I do. Okay. So let's read the devotional now. So the devotional says to praise God is to say good things about him. What can we say about the Lord? Is it possible to continue to praise him day after day without running out of things to say? What should we do when we feel all has been said? There's a lot of times where we don't know what to say to God or we just feel like we're running out of things to say. God said it's okay. Keep spreading the Bible. Keep spreading the gospel. Keep reading. Keep talking to him. It's okay if you say the same things over and over again. You just got to keep talking to God. Okay. The second paragraph says, we can start with the gospel. The story of how the creator became a part of his creation by entering history. To save a people through his name is the best story of all time. It should lead us to worship and praise every time we think about it. You see what I said? You got to keep spreading the gospel. Keep spreading his word. It's just going to lead people to get saved. I mean, we need people to get saved. The third paragraph says, Because of his great works of salvation, we know God is at work all over the world. Right now, God is using people like you and me to share his glorious plan of salvation. And every day, more are added to the group of people who will praise and serve God forever. The Lord is receiving this very moment. Praises from many different languages from all over the world. That's true. Every day people are spreading God's word. Even if you don't think people are spreading it, there's people out there that's spreading it from different countries, different nations, different languages, Spanish, French, Creole, Chinese, wherever the thing, wherever the case may be, they're spreading God's word. And we need to spread God's word because there's more people that's doing it every day and we need to do it for God, we just need to spread his word. So guys, now we're going to read the fourth paragraph. And it says, the author of today's verse, David, reveals the true nature of praise. He attended to praise God and made him known to all the nations. He desired to share his God, mercy, true, and holiness, all good praise words with all the nations. This could also mean, David, that even among the Gentiles, God has people that he has redeemed. Some of the nations mentioned in Psalms were fruitious enemies of God's people. Most of them worshipped false gods and had horrible religious practices. Even so, God knew them name by name, used them, and mentioned these people from said nations who followed God. Y'all, God knows all of us name by name. How we look, how we talk, how we act. God just knows everything about us. Even if you don't think he knows you, he knows you. There's a lot of people that worship false gods. 
what's the whole point of worshiping false gods god is the real god and only true god there's no reason to worship other gods besides god i don't understand so now guys we're gonna read the last and final paragraph god is just working through my life and he's gonna work through your life as well so we're gonna read the last paragraph it says we are told to praise the lord but thankfully we are never left without good things to say about our god Consider starting your next prayer by praising him for what he's doing around the world. Praise him for his love for the nations as he sends the only message that can save them. Praise him for his mercy as he does not treat us according to what we deserve. Praise him for his protection of the ministries and believers in countries where it is dangerous to profess Christianity. Praise him because despite of all the hard worship ministries and believers go through, his glory is expanding and not diminishing. See how easy it is to praise him? You guys, we got to praise God. Even though in some other countries, they're killing them, throwing rocks, um, burning people that worship God. I find that terrible. But we just got to praise God. God died for us. He died for each and one of us, each and every one of us. And we just got to praise him. Even though there's some places where they're, they're like, that's illegal. You can't do that. I find that horrible. Because God is the only true God. Why are we killing Christians? Why are we doing this? But it's the world. We just got to continue serving our Lord. The only true God. The only God that's real. That's not fake. That's not false. God is saying to spread his word. Thank him for what he's done for you. He died on the cross for you. He showed you love. He doesn't treat you how we treat him. We got to understand that. We just got to love God for who he is because he loves each and every one of us. Even if we're sinners, we know he knows we're sinners. We know we're sinners. And God is saying, I'm still going to love you. I'm still going to care for you. I'm still going to give you what you need. Isn't that a miracle working God? I think it is too. So now we're going to pray. Just close your eyes, bow your heads with me, and we're going to pray to end this off. Okay, so, dear Father, Lord God, thank you for having me the time to read your word and spread it to other people. I just want to help other people, Lord. Just thank you, God, for everything you've done in my life, everything you're doing in their lives, Lord. Just, God, thank you for the wisdom and words to say to read these verses in Scripture, Lord. God, just thank you for everything, Lord. I love you guys. Forgive me of my sins and forgive me of everything I've done in my life, Lord. Just forgive the people that's watching this, Lord. Just forgive everyone, Lord. Help them have a blessed and wonderful day, Lord. God, thank you for everything you've done for us. And just help us have a wonderful day for the rest of the day, Lord. And God, thank you so much. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you guys for joining us today on Renew. I hope to see you guys next time. And remember our theme verse in Romans 12, 2. And be not confirmed to this world, but be transforming by the renewing of your mind. Thank you guys for watching me. My name is Samantha, and I love doing these devotionals. Hopefully, I can do another one for you guys soon. I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day, and I love you guys. Bye.